Students at Montreat College staged a protest today as the school gets ready to decide whether it will merge with another university. News 13's Ashley Searles was at that protest. She joins us live from the college. Ashley, that decision could be made just within a few hours. That's right. The merger with the university in Georgia could be finalized tonight, but this whole thing has been very controversial pretty much from the start. Groups opposed to the deal include alumni, faculty, and today about a quarter of the students showed up to protest. There's supposed to be a decision tonight. In the hours before, the uh, trustees are meeting tonight. All students could do was make their point bright and clear. What makes it urgent right now is that there's a conference call tonight with the board of trustees. And on the line, there's nothing less than the future existence of Montreat College here. So if we merge with Point University in five years, they would shut down this campus and we would move to Georgia. In July, trustees begin pursuing a merger with a school that sits about five hours southwest of the college. And since it was announced, Faculty, alumni, and students have spoken out against it. Uh, most of the people do not support the merger because if the merger happens, the, student, the staff and faculty lose their jobs. We have to find, if we we're still here, another pl place to go to school. A letter that recently became public details the trustees' plan if the merger goes through, including moving Montreat to Georgia within five years and giving up the school's leadership affiliation to the Presbyterian religion. There's not a lot of Christian private schools that still exists today, and I just feel like that's needed. I mean, there's a reason students come and pay much more money here than they would at a state school. The school did not return calls this afternoon, but has said the merger was to help keep the college afloat. There's no reason that Montreat College needs to merge with Point University. All right, this time, let's bow our heads and pray to the Lord. The alumni board proposed an alternative operating plan this month to trustees. I pray that your hand be in the decision. And says it's raised millions. We have a plan. We have, uh, we have backing. There's money that, that's there uh, that, can, that can move this plan forward. Now, some complaints of the protest today centered around a lack of transparency within this school. Now, alumni as well as students told me today they really feel like they've been kept in the dark as to what this merger could do to them and how it could affect them going forward in the years ahead. Now, the conference call is scheduled for 7 o'clock tonight, so we'll bring you details as this is updated. A decision could come in the next couple of hours. You can check it on our website at WLOS.com, and we'll have details as they unfold tonight on our later newscasts. Reporting live tonight in Montreat, Ashley Searles, News 13.